Welcome to the video by DJSP RC. I wanted to show you guys how to change your ring gear off your diff of uh, X Max. Now, this is the 6S version X Max. Maybe it's hard to see, maybe not. The gears are fine on this guy right here. The only reason we want to basically change this, the ring gear is to confirm the oil is still good inside and to change the ratio. Now, basically what we're gonna go with is the 7792. Uh, it's basically a 3D5 tooth. And the pinion here is an 11. Now, Traxxas does say in the back of the packaging, uh, ring gear differential 3D5 tube, heavy duty, used with 7790 or 7791. Now, 7791 is this guy here, that's the rear for the vehicle, and 90 is for the front. I will have a, a separate video for how to do the, the front one of the diff, but at the end of the day, it's the same as the rear. This is the rear one. Now, what we're gonna do is basically, we're not gonna touch this side here. We're gonna open this side, confirm if the oil is okay at the same time. Now, in the middle of your ring gear, or your ring gear, your diff cup, uh, you'll have a, a screw in the middle. You see, I have my screwdriver in it. You're gonna unscrew that guy. And basically what that does is you could remove the cup. By removing the cup, make sure you don't lose your screw, put that aside, you're gonna be able to remove your bearing. Now you might need a flat screwdriver to be able to pry it a bit. Now I wasn't prepared for this part and I don't know where's my flat screwdriver. Really don't know where it is. Sorry about that guys, I think I just found it. What's happening when you have too many tools? Basically what I'm gonna do is just go underneath and slowly pry it side to side until it pops like it just did. There you go. Remove the bearing. That way you can inspect it and make sure everything's fine and clean it at the same time. You don't really need to remove it to remove this, but because I am changing it, I have no choice. Now, what we're gonna do here is start to unscrew these guys here. And some of you might ask why we're just, if the gear's fine, why changing it? Like I said, we're, the owner of the vehicle uh, wants to change the ratio of the gearing inside. That's just one of the uh, ways you can do it too. You could change your uh, pinion or your spur. You could do that pretty much close to the same job. But at the same time, we wanted to inspect uh, the oil inside the diff. It is one of the first generation of X Maxes, and we just want to make sure everything is healthy inside. Now, before I move this one here, one suggestion I suggest is if you grab yourself cups like these guys here. This is the Dixie Cups. I always keep some around. Super handy to be able to hold your diff. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll grab an X-Acto knife here. Gonna make an incision in the middle. Make a, a star. And I'll show you. Basically you grab your diff. And it holds itself. 
that way you're when you're moving the, the ring gear it's not leaking itself out one of the best tip i can tell you guys about same thing as when you're feeling shocks uh, having basically something to hold your shock straight is the key when you're feeling your shocks i do have a video on how to fill shocks okay now we have our last screw here put it aside now i'm going to hold the bottom and slowly wiggle the top loose i don't want to wiggle it too much simple reason because there is a gasket here i'm not sure if you can see it try to move it a little bit forward and have the camera focus it doesn't really want to but you see the gaskets right here now oil wise inside seems fine it did lose a little bit but it will be okay now we're just gonna put this here and come to this guy here now what we're gonna want to do here we want to keep the pinion gears we're just gonna push on it and remove it now there is a seal here again put this aside and we're going to open our bag here now we're going to remove our seal and put it in the other one there we go and we're going to put this guy aside and grab our diff gear again and put it in now there's two ways you could do it and this the way i'm doing right now she or he really doesn't want to cooperate what i'm going to do i'm going to put it directly on the diff gear itself and insert it and try to put it straight as possible Put a little bit of pressure on it and turn the gear and try to see inside and looks everything looks fine what i'm going to do here all right pushed it back out to confirm it was seated correctly and we're just going to restart this process put it back on the gear Insert the gear as straight as possible. Push a bit until it's seated. Turn it at the same time. There we go. You'll know she's seated because the back of the uh, spiral gears are comes flush. Now what we're gonna do is put them back together and try as possible to align the the screws. And when you do align them, you'll notice I can't even turn it because it's keyed. If you look here, you see the middle, that's where your bolt goes and two keys on each side. Now what I'm gonna do is try to screw in two bolts manually. And screw it back in. Now basically it's the opposite you just did to remove everything. I'm just gonna screw these two here. You could use a drill if you wanted to, that's okay. But once you get to the, at the end, just make sure to back off on your drill or use your clutch on it. If your drill has a clutch, use it. And if you're wondering at what degree to put your clutch, Put it at the smallest as possible and then worst case screw it in. If you feel it's not all the way in, give it one notch more. Now basically what I would do here is put the bearing back and then put this guy back here and screw it back and then our diff is rebuilt. If you guys have any questions or comment, I'd be glad to answer you guys. 
If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if this can help anybody of your friends, please share it. Thank you guys.